Hi guys, it's the Cubicle Chick coming to you live from the Cubicle Chick TV and the cubiclechick.com. I'm actually bringing you episode number one of the Digital Debutante where I just kind of bring to you what's going on in my world, what's going on in my life, and um, yeah. So um, if you've been following me on my social networks or you know me personally, you know that my father passed away two and a half weeks ago. Um, I'm still going through the stages of grief at this point, um, being as how um, I also planned a social media and blogging conference that took place this past weekend. I really didn't have time to, time to myself to really kind of um, grieve. Um, and I'm going through that process now. And I actually was talking to a friend of mine this weekend and I was saying, I really haven't grieved yet. I've cried. Um, you know, at the funeral, it, it was really hard. Um, and I've, I've done some self reflection and, um, but I, I'm, st I haven't really m grieved yet. I don't think it's, it's really hit me. I don't know if anybody else out there watching this, this has happened. I haven't had anybody in my family close to me die until two weeks and a half weeks ago when my father died. Um, I'm the only child. So, um, I was daddy's little girl. Um, and, I just haven't had chance a, t a chance to grieve yet, and it could just be because I am pushing it back, and I'm not allowing myself to grieve. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm just taking it day by day. There are some days that I get by just fine, and I just I think about his memory. I think about the times we shared, and I'm good with that. And there are other days that I am selfish because I want him back. I want him here. Um, my daddy was only 58 years old. Um, he did have congestive heart failure. Um, he had diabetes. Um, he, ha he was borderline kidney failure at the time of his death. It was very sudden. Um, I was out of town for six days. Um, the day that I came back, the day after I got back home, he passed away, um, in his house. Um, and so I just, it's hard, you know? Um, and so, you know, I'm thinking about maybe getting some counseling just to have somebody to talk to about it. Cause I mean, I've talked to my family about it and, and, and they've been so supportive and so loving, but the relationship that my dad and I shared was, you know, something very special. Um, in the last five years have not been good for him health wise. And I've been his provider and his protector and his caretaker and he's not here anymore. And for so many years, he was my provider in my caretaker and my support system and that's it's gone he's gone and um, I'm just doing my best every day to 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 remember that he would want me to continue living and to continue my dreams and my wishes um, and so I just wanted to share that with you. A lot of you have been reaching out to me, asking me how I'm doing, asking how my family is doing. My my daughter, um, she she took it pretty hard. My son, and you know, being that my son is 18 and spent his whole life with my grandfather, or with his grandfather, my father, he is he he's taken it pretty bad too. So we're trying to help each other. Um, it's a constant struggle and I, I talked to someone who lost their father uh, several years ago and they say they still are grieving and it's still something that um, hurts you know and the pain never goes away completely um, you may be able to compartmentalize the pain the pain you may be able to put it somewhere separate but it's it's still there and it probably always will be there so I want to send um, shots out and thanks to everybody who showed um, showed their thoughts and their prayers with me and my family at this time. Um, now it's just a process of going through his things and packing up his things. And that's going to be pretty hard too. And I'm not exactly sure if I'm built for this. Um, but it's something that has to be done. And as the only child, I have to do it. There's nobody else to do it. Um, so that's kind of what's been going on in my life. Um, but I just wanted to thank everybody for their kind words. And um, if you have any suggestions, any websites, any books,
that I can read about grieving and, and that will help me through the grieving process. I would really appreciate it. Please either comment under this video or email me at info at thecubiclechick.com or even comment um, on the blog post because I'm sure I'm going to put this up on my blog. Um, I just, I need help with dealing with all of this. Um, so um, I'll go ahead and sign off and hopefully the next video will be more upbeat and positive, but I miss my daddy. I will always love my daddy and um, I'm just trying to get through this.